Hello folks, Jerry here and welcome back to the R2 Breakdown and today we're gonna go ahead and test out the Quattro S1. So first of all, I would like to give a huge shout out to Kyle for donating this thing for us to pink slip and uh, yeah, the Quattro S1 is the quickest tier 4 car. It does max out at 985 along with the C63, the Scarn R34 and the Mustang Boss, however, this is the only car that can do 8.1s, uh, well, low 8.1s or perhaps even 8.0s, but uh, the ideal stress price is 70.1 and uh, well, the tune is already uploaded for the members of the channel, but uh, it's really nice to drive. The release is on mid to late first light, after that you shift on the, red, uh, on the first red bar, but the thing with this thing is, whenever I get uh, a perfect launch, I just seem to get a shitty shitty RT, so let's, let's test it out. Okay, I just jinxed, <laughs> jinxed myself, um, but really, whenever I get, uh, uh, like, 90% of time, when I uh, get a perfect launch with this thing, I just seem to get, like, a 50 plus millisecond RT. That's actually the best run I did with this thing so far, and that's really good. But the problem with the Quattro is actually just going to be uh, finding pings, because obviously other tier 4 cars are aware that, you know, this is the quickest one, so really... Uh, this is the fourth take. I've been in lobbies for the past 30 minutes and I, and I just cannot, for the love of God, find any pink slips with the Quattro. So maybe, magically, um, a Quattro is gonna join and we're gonna... Oh my God, look at this. Okay. Um, I would pink slip a C63 instantly. If he wants to do it, my car is quicker. It's also more valuable. That's a free run. That's fair enough. I'm just wishful thinking on my part. Missed the perfect launch, honestly. Like, considering uh, that I've been getting awful RTs on the perfect launches, I just might go ahead and uh, aim to miss the perfect launch on the pink slip. Because I tend to get better RTs when I miss the perfect launch. Um, but obviously, that first round with it was really, really good, and I am quite proud of that. Uh, I don't think he's gonna wanna pink slip us, to be honest. Oh my god, oh my god, holy shit. 42 minutes in. I see a Quattro. I see a, 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 a Quattro. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Uh. No, 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 no. Where the fuck did he go? Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. Please. Please, please, please. Please. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this moment for uh, for way too long. <laughs> let's, let's go, let's go. Oh, that was absolutely awful. I got destroyed. I've literally been lurking in the lobbies for an hour and a half just to get destroyed. Yeah, I wasn't touching that, so, uh... Well, this was one of the worst pink slip experiences ever. Uh, kudos to this guy for, uh, for pink slipping, that's a, that's a GG. Um, alright, so I'm gonna be objective and just ignore the past 90 minutes. This thing is really good. It's, it's you know, the quickest tier 4 car. It's really nice to drive. It's pretty consistent as well. Just ignore the fact that I messed up the run completely. But uh, I'm gonna give this thing a 8.5 out of 10. Like, the C63 is still... I feel it's more challenging. And it's much cheaper. And the skyline is just nicer to drive. So this thing is quick. It really is, but... I don't know, I just prefer the Skyline and the C63 because those are actually cross-compatible on this thing. It's pretty niche. I mean, it's gonna destroy everyone in like a tier 4 event, but I didn't see a tier 4 event going on so far. So, uh, yeah, 8.5 out of 10 and uh, good luck trying to find pink, uh, pink slips with this thing. So, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Jerry, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of uh, R2 Breakdown. Take care.